Hi there, welcome to WP Math once again. In this video, we are going to be learning about business hour widget of the Elements Kit plugin. Go ahead and open up any page with Elementor Page Builder. After that, from widget search, search business hour. And there you will find a business hour widget by Elements Kit. Drag and drop the widget on your page. After that, you'll find some dummy data that will help you to understand how it works. Now in the left side, the first control you have is the content and they will have a list of items. Now, the first one is the Sunday. If you go ahead and open up this one, there you'll have the day, then you have time, then you have the highlight option, day color, time color and the background color. From the day option, you can choose the day. Right now it's selected to Sunday, so you can make it Monday or any other day you want to. After that, you have the time. In here right now, it's selected to close. If you want, you can put any time here. As an example, let's open the Saturday. In here, you can see there is a day, which is a Saturday. After that, the time. The time is 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock. And there you have the highlight. The other settings are common. You'll find these similar settings in every single item. Like if you go ahead and open up this Wednesday, there you'll find similarly the Wednesday and the time. And then you have the highlight the day. If you go ahead and open up it, then you have the day color and the other options. Now from here, let's change the day color to green. The time color I want to choose is blue. And the background color I want to choose black. The colors I'm choosing are for the testing purpose, just to show you how it's work. After that, if you want to add a new item, on that time you have to click add item. And you'll find the similar settings. I don't need this one. After that, if you go to the style tab, they will have all the controls to work with the typography and the font size. The first one is the margin. It will work with the individual margin. Now let's increase the margin top to 20 pixel and the margin bottom to 20 pixel. After that, you have the padding. Let's make it zero. And from padding left, I want to increase it to 25 pixel. And padding right, I also want to increase it to 25 pixel. Then you have the background type, from here I want to choose a little bit grey background. And then you have the border type and the border radius. From border type, I want to make the border zero from all side. Then if you open the day option, then you have the control to work with the day color, typography and the background type. Let's open the typography. There you have the option to work with the font family, font size, font width, transform, style and some other options like the line height and the letter spacing. From font family, I want to choose Rubik as the font family and the font size I want to use is 24 pixel. And the other settings I want to keep as it is. After that, if you open the time, there you can also work with the time color, typography and the background type. The similar settings that you have already seen in the day option. The controls for the business hour widget are very simple. So this is all about the settings you need to know when you are trying to work with the business hour widget. Thank you for watching this video.